Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Nerdy Quail and we are continuing to play Space Engineers. Uh, where we last left off, we had finished building the banana welder. And if you are interested, it is in the Steam Workshop now. It is a lovely little single cockpit, single or double cargo container with a connector, enough engines to get around, and small enough in the front to get into hard to reach places. Anyway, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna probably just get snag a little ice. There might be some right here. But we're gonna snag a little ice to top off our hydrogen. Alright, so goals for today are probably going to make it brighter, of course, and uh, just generally build. Alright, I do need to figure out what to do with over here, and hopefully we can get that done today um, I may have to destroy a block here to get a junction in there um, and then we'll figure out how far I want to extend this out to put in a small airlock and then we're gonna need to have pipes running for the airlock as well All right, well, let's see here. Let us exit. And I know I've used this guy. We extended the platform out a little bit with him. It was all good. And then we started working on our expansion project of the control tower. And I think the main thing is, is that we just need more iron. So the idea is that we are going to take this floor and move it up here. Pretty much is the general idea. And I'm just realizing I could probably just do this for now. To get it started. Or continued actually. Alright, I think that should be all that around. So, my basic thought currently is we are going to actually build this up first and then I will grind that down and move it up and then once that's done then I'll move the glass up and so on and so forth alright so to you need the stair. And we are going to make it white. And we need an interior plate for that. But we do know that we are going to need Do I want those or do I want the interior. I think I might want interior. I think that's what I did for everything else. Yeah. So, 
What we'll do... We'll hop here. And we'll stick this in here. We know we need interior plate and we got a lot of it. So, we'll swap over. Carry as much interior plate as we can. And start working. Still think it's the same basic problem I had initially, which was really don't like the stairway popping up. Is actually coming to think of it, I could redo the entire stair system here instead of being in circles. I could do zigzag. Might be more complex, but it take less room. I know it's a thought. For now, this works. Next, I want to see girders are the initial thing that we need. All right. A steel plate, which I think I have some in here. I think I left the majority of it in here. Yeah, we'll grab a little. All right, that way it is connected. All right. So we did one by twos. I think we might have did the inverted ones, but we'll double check those. the wrong one but uh, that is okay let us swing back here we don't need you and I'm hoping that connects so we don't need to worry Yep, that's the one we need. All right. Next, we need the one by one slope, I believe.
but we'll see if this was no actually window do we have a one by two slope we'll see if this one works energy low no not working either all right so it's not that It's the one by twos still, or one by one. So we got all the windows placed. We're gonna drop you back off here, and we're gonna drop you back off in here. Okay. So we're gonna take our mining ship and do a quick little run. We're just going right here. All right, we just filled up, and we are going to need to do a bunch of mining trips. We need to pick up silicon and other things too, because I've got the refinery is not running at the moment. should get that going. I'm actually going to park you. Whoops, I slightly misjudged that one. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, I think everything's good. Okay. Alright, now that will start. making things a whole lot easier for us but we're gonna need a lot of that okay and for us to start 
we're gonna move here. And we're gonna start by filling in this floor. Oh, hello. Inventory full. I will pick the rest of you up in a moment. Uno momento, por favor. And let me just do this. Now we'll fill that there. That's all good, that's all good. Dump, dump. Oh, not there. Dump, dump. Next, we'll do the corners. Corners here, bam, bam. Doop, doop, and let me double check to make sure I know what I'm supposedly. Do we? Alright. Um so this is gonna be fit. I could then from here do another angle. Keep that there for now. Um, completely changing thought and tone. Also, want that back in here. All right, five. Let us. That way, we have a much better looking non block building. Go ahead and get this to line up for me.
Alright, that's looking a lot better. And now for the final thing. It's the same design like that. So we'll go bam, bam. Go around first so I don't have to just much. I should probably just do it so I don't forget. Oh, it requires the... These. Yeah. That's right. There we go. It looks like we forgot a block here. We'll fill that in. There we go. Cool. That design's done. And what we'll do, we'll also take this out for a spin. Okay, let's make our way over. I did not put any lights in here on this. I'm thinking I might. some point soon, but otherwise this little ship's doing quite well. The welder does take up a fair bit amount of power, but bear in mind that I believe this has less batteries than the mining ship. But the idea is that the mining ship it goes further. This doesn't have to go that far. So this doesn't need a massive fuel supply. Oh, did we? We used up all that. Cool. That actually made it a whole lot faster. We'll go ahead and park this. 
quite pleased with its performance. It obviously can hold a lot more than what we put in. I just put in what we had available. I'm not good at parking this over here. There we go. Alright, inventory. Control panel. Battery 2. You are charging. But looking a lot better in terms of how it looks than just a block. So, if we did that by hand, that would have taken a whole lot of extra time with all the going back and forth between the refinery and here. Alright, so that leaves just the next part, which is moving the internal back are essentially moving it the original floor back up to the new floor no idea what's that sparking thing is anyway on that one. So this one. Okay. Let's go up here and start making the floor. This is the front. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoops. Can we do one there, there, no. no. Alright. That in place. I'm actually thinking of putting it here maybe, but we will see. Thing. I'm like the Viori. I think we already went through all our iron we collected. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, we'll get these, and then we're going to start um, taking down the control panel. We need 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 interior plate, and 18 construction plates. See if I remember that, or maybe not. All right, we now have a full control tower. Now, the main thing is I have no idea where I wanna put the thing. I am thinking I wanna put it here. Control seat. But I can't put it exactly there. So it has to go there. But I can't move it there. Could just have it in the center. I don't know. For now. right there. Not what I thought that one was going to be. The two by one left. I just want energy low. This says that. So the corner one exists. Nailing corner. We need one that stands out. There we go. That's more OSHA compliant. 
ish. All right. That looks better. That's lit up there. Probably put a few lights in here. And that looks overall better. Let's stash that away. Alright, other thing we need to get done is we're going to need to figure out how much a junction conveyor box that we need. And we need a conveyor junction. Like six of those. Maybe a, we'll start off with twenty of these. I'm not sure if we need to add those actually. We need a bunch of those, maybe about twenty-five. Ten of those. Should be enough to start with. Now this needs to be done carefully. Construction components. Ten of those. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's grab a bunch. Yeah, so... The same thing that happened with the other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to rebuild the entire thing. Unfortunate, but I kind of guessed that was going to happen. Oh, whoops. Well, that I was not expecting to happen. Oh, it's because it was holding a bunch of stuff. Okay, and then we'll paint this gray. Um... And then let's load up the conveyor. Alright. Should be up and running again. And we are going to grab some power. Okay, so that fixes that issue right there, which means I can fill this in, and let's see here, I could add some depth or additional styling to this I think, by doing like a slope up, a slope uh, but just like two lines. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I will need that back. Since we're in here, we're gonna
I actually kind of like the light look of that. It is gray, but for now, we'll keep it blue and back to light gray. Lights on, please. Well, that's the other thing, too. Um, I know initially I said I was going to do kind of like color code some of the buildings. I still may do that, but I'm not sure. Now that it's getting bigger, it just looks a little weird to have such drastically colored different colored buildings. I don't know. Just let me let me know what you think. But definitely switching over to this color. Because it makes it easier to see it's the light reflecting off of it. I thought I did all this already, but we'll we'll see. Anyway, let's turn you back. This is good. Alright. So, yeah, I was just saying, because that was some of the idea was, yeah, you follow the blue to get the command, you follow the green to get the medical. Um, I don't think that's really viable. Anyway. So. Just checking. So, this is now airtight. This is airtight. That is airtight. It's here that is the problem. So first step, of course, would just be sealing this off right here. Okay, good. I don't... No, I think I need to build around this. Because that's not airtight. Okay, well, let's just stick this on. We're going to need that open, so we're going to make it a little funky looking in shape, which kind of helps the design aspect. And of course, we'll need steel plate.
get these diamond out of the way. Better doing that. And theoretically, I can still fit the modifications. If not, it's going to be a really fun uh, upgrade when I have to get all the uh, oxygen put back into the building or into the tanks. Just trying things. I'm trying to stay away from being too blocky. Energy low. Should be fine for this. There we go. A little bit more of an unusual style. Or shape, which helps. Let's go in down here. Did all the Looked like all the air escaped. Hmm. Something to think about. Alright. Let's head here. Let us put in. I think that's what we lost. We lost a bunch of steel plate that was in that for some reason. Yeah, let's just get some more. Get 
to remember where that is. Isn't it just... in Our assembler you doing what you do best All those much better. Let's see here. A little dark over here still, but definitely don't need flashlight in here. Meteor storm inbound. Next. Should be enough to get started, if not complete this. If not, we got a lot more being worked on.
And I believe that's all we got for now. Let's just go up here. Kind of misjudged that a bit again. Okay, let's see here. We've got... 500 more. And 120. Take that. We're able to put a good dent in it. So we probably could finish. At least get really close. Empty again. Yeah. Probably won't be as much of an issue if I actually filled this thing up. It's definitely a lot easier just to fill that up and do like seven eighths of it. Problem is, is now it's a lot harder to get to it from the outside. Got a door there. Could extend. No, because it's once again, I don't know if that's airtight. Now, I know I haven't set it up yet, but I have enough timing blocks over there to operate all my airlocks over here. So that will need to, that's part of my project to move that. All right, so we'll put one here, one here. We're gonna make this one tall.
question is, is this is enough, is this enough room to do anything? Well, that is a question for next time. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, we've completed working on a good amount of stuff, actually. Not a good amount, but like, you know, a couple of objectives. We got the control tower up and running and looking better. I might recolor it at some point. Uh, we got the control the finery and assembler sealed up in some way and those are our two main projects and we started building the second airlock which I think is also good because once that's done we're airtight at this point which is the big huge thing that we will finish next time so i hope you've enjoyed this episode be sure to like and subscribe be sure to check out my twitch channel and my facebook both called the nerdy quail i hope you guys have a good day and take care